Shalom, in the name of Jesus. So, and welcome to Let There Be Light. So I'm Kingdom, and you are... And I'm Freedom. I will do the message today. But before we do the message, before we say the title of the message, we're going to pray. So Lord, give us wisdom, power, and authority to preach and teach this word Amen. now. Amen. Holy Spirit, show us your glory and Amen. truth and set people free. Father, let your kingdom come and let your will be done here and now. And give us the tongue of knowledge and in your light may we see light. In Yeshua's name, Amen. Father, let the angels of this show, let there be light, protect us. Amen. Let the God of our daddy, Chemezia, conquer, and our God help us. Amen. Let your Holy Spirit direct us. We amen. plead the blood of Jesus, and Lord, let there be light. In Yeshua's name, Amen. And we're here to represent our dad, who is in Iceland. So our message for today is out of darkness. So and as you watch us today, God will bring you out of darkness today. In Jesus' name, Amen. amen. So our first scripture is Genesis 1 verse 1 to 4. And it says, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and the darkness was over the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. So it's saying that God saw the light that was good, and He separated the light from the darkness. And it also says that God's word came to came to pass, like He said, "Let there be light," and there was light. So our next question. also in it, it was it. So God called light out of darkness. And the light can overcome the darkness. So our next scripture is Matthew 5, 14 to 16. So it says, Ye, ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the, the house. Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works, and glorify your Father which is in heaven. So, your Father is in heaven. Um, also in it, is, it says that, um, that you are the light, and you'll keep shining. Also in it, it, it says that um, your, your light will shine forth that the your the men will see you that your your light Amen. so our next one is first peter 2 verse 9 and it says but you are a chosen race race a royal priesthood a holy nation a people for his own possession that you may proclaim the excellence of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light so it says that you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a man for his own possession. And it said you've been called out of darkness into his marvelous light. And you will be called out of darkness in Jesus' name. Amen. The darkness will not overcome you in Jesus' name. And it also, um, also it, it means that um, there's a crowd of people and, you, and you're the one that is chosen, the one person you're chosen. So our next one... Our next scripture is Exodus 20, verse 21. So, it says, and the, and the people stood afar off, and Moses drew near to the thick darkness where God was. So it says that God was in the thick darkness, and God, he is the light, and he overcomes the light in Jesus' name. Also in it, it says that um, the Israelites, they were scared of God. Well, Moses, he is brave of God. He knows the, he knows our Lord. And I'm going to add something. Like Moses and Pharaoh, that Pharaoh wouldn't let the Israelites out of their Egypt. Until the ten plagues came, that's when Pharaoh let the Israelites go. But he started chasing them again once they got close to the Red Sea. And after... 
after the Moses separated the water, and then the the Israelites went through the water, went went across, but the Egyptians didn't make it. So our next one is Genesis one, Genesis twelve verse one. You can also find it in Acts seven three. But we'll go there after the scripture. No, we're going to do it. So it says, Now the Lord said to Abram, Go from your country and your kindred and the father and your father's house to a land that I'll show you. So it's saying that God called Abram out of his country. He called it, he God called Abram out of his land, out of his father's house, because they've they he's calling Abram out of darkness. And also in the instruction he never said to bring anyone, but he brought Lot, and he his test, and he he his Sarah, his wife Sarah could have got his, his baby long ago, her baby long ago, if she didn't, t if Abraham didn't take Lot. Also, I'll, I'll point something out, but um, the the Lord he was bringing Abraham out of the darkness into the light. So and and he only he only and also he only told um. He only told Eber and his wife to go, but not Lot. So our next one is John eight twelve. I mean Psalm ninety one. Oh sorry, Psalm. Psalm our next one is Psalms ninety one verse fifteen. So it says, "He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I'll be with him in trouble. I'll deliver him and honor him." So it says, uh, "It's it was saying that." Once you're in trouble, the Lord will call on to you. No, once you once you. like the Lord spoke this that once once David once once David's in trouble, that you'll call upon the Lord and the Lord will answer. Yeah, that's same as in the Goliath. Yeah, David and Goliath, that God helped David win Goliath. That David came in the, in the Lord and Goliath came. In the swords and all those things, but David came in the Lord. Also, um, it says that the Lord will be with us. Um, also, he, the Lord will deliver us from the troubles we are in. So our next scripture is is John eight twelve. You can start reading. Okay, so it says, Then spoke Jesus again unto them, saying, And the light of the world, He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but have, but shall have the light of life. So Jesus is the light of the world. Um, also, it also says that um, he's the that um, whoever follows him will not walk in darkness. It was the same. It's it said in one scripture, um, that um. That the people that touched Jesus' cloak was healed. That Jesus heals people. Yeah, he's a powerful healer. Like, like he healed Lazarus. He raised Lazarus from the dead. He he healed a man that was blind. He said, "Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me." And then Jesus he Jesus asked him, "What do you want?" He said, "For me to receive my sight back." And then, and then I think Jesus spat onto his eyes and he. I think he robbed it and then he received his sight. <clears throat> so our next one is, is John one John chapter one verse four to five. So it says, And the light shineth in darkness. I mean in him was the life, and the life was the light of men. So it says that the life um the life um God does the life and the light of men. Um the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. So it says that the light shines in darkness, and those people that are in the darkness, they 
they'll come out in Jesus' name. Amen. And they will never get back into the darkness again in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And and also uh, uh, also says that um the darkness it doesn't it doesn't take it doesn't take over the light. The light can overcome it. Like um God was in the darkness, the thick darkness, and um he he overcome the light. He was he's the light. So next one. The light rules and reigns forever. And you will be in the light, never in the darkness, in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. So our next one is Colossians 1 verse 13. And it says, He has delivered us from the domain of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son. So it says that God will... When God removed us from the darkness and he's transferred us into the kingdom of his b beloved son. And and his, his so he's removing us from the darkness and putting us into the light. And his beloved son is Jesus, which is in heaven. Like Paul, and he comes into the Saul earth. and Paul, Saul meant darkness because once Saul, his name was Saul, he was doing bad things like killing, taking people to jail that believed in Jesus. But once, G then, one time, one of the days he went to take people, he the light came from heaven saying, Paul, so, so, why have you persecuted me? And then, and then he, the, he then he, because of the light, the soul became blind. And then, and then, and then he went, and then, I, and then God called Ananias and he said, go to a street called Straight. And you'll find a man called Saul, and there you you'll heal his sight. Once he once he went there, he healed Saul's sight, and his name after that was called Paul. So Paul meant light, and Saul meant darkness. So our next scripture is Luke one seventy eight to seventy nine. It says, "Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high had visited us, to give." To give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet in the way of peace. So it, it says that the Lord will guide your feet into the way of peace, and I pray that your your feet your the Lord will guide you into the peace in Jesus' name. That no devil will make you stumble. Nothing will happen during the way. That you will get to the light and you're safe. That Satan will not overcome you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So it also is saying that um that the light that the light um the light the light gives light to the darkness. So our next scripture is Psalms one hundred and seven verse fourteen. And it says, He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death and burst their bonds apart. So saying that the Lord brought us out of darkness and he, and he broke our chains apart so we're set free and I pray that anyone who's stuck in chains that the Lord will break them out in Jesus name Amen, amen. That, that they will never be stuck in chains again in Jesus name Amen, amen. the Lord that you're not you're, on, you're, on your, if you're in prison you'll come out now and believe in Jesus in Jesus name Amen so um. Also, it also means that um, in it, it means that you'll li you'll leave lack. I pray that you'll leave lack. That you'll pain. never be poor. That you'll, you'll be rich. You'll leave Jesus lack, name. pain, and live free indeed. No sickness will come back to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So our next scripture is First Thessalonians five verse four to five. It says, But ye brethren are not in darkness, that, that they should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all the children of light, and the children of the day, we are not of the night, nor of darkness. So I I pray that you are not in darkness in Jesus' name. Amen. You're in Jesus' name, Amen. amen. It also means that um that you're you're the you're the you're the light, you're you're of the day and the light and the light. You're not no, you're not the night or the darkness in Jesus' name. 
Amen. So our next one, is our next scripture is John 12 verse 46. And it says, I have come into the world as a light, so whoever believes in me may not remain in darkness. So it's saying that Jesus, the Son of God, he came into the world as a light, that, that whoever believes in him may not remain in darkness. And I pray that you people that believes in Christ will never remain in darkness in Jesus name and the me. people that if you believe in Christ you'll be set free indeed in Jesus name Amen. and you're you're not you're not you're not lack in Jesus name I pray that you'll have the best lives ever in Jesus name amen. Jesus name Amen, amen. You, and our next scripture is Ephesians 5 verse 8 You read it. Okay, but at one time you were, were darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of the light. So it's saying that one time you were in darkness, but now in the now you're in the light, and you walk and you should walk like children of the light. That you walk like as children in the light. That you and I pray that you'll never walk as children in the darkness. In Jesus' name, Amen. amen. And it also also it means that in this it, you it's it means that you you will have a good life indeed. Um, your your children, um, chil I pray that children who are watching they will receive their sight and now in Jesus' name Amen. they'll come Nobody out. Nobody will be sick. They'll come out of the name. darkness and they'll see the light in the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. So our next one is Matthew 4.16 which you can also find in Isaiah 9.2 Sis, no, you're reading so it, so it says The people which sat in darkness saw a great light and to them which sat in the region and the and shadow of death light has sprung up so it, it says that um, the people that are in darkness, they see a great light. And I pray that if you are in darkness, you'll you'll see the light, and you'll 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 turn your you'll turn to Jesus in Jesus' name. Amen. Every every stumbling rock will will flee. Or now. Anything that is in like a something kind that is in your way, that you'll you'll be scared of you and flee in Jesus' name. And Amen. and you'll stumble on it in Jesus' name. You'll match on it. Every sickness and every and the, every pain, sickness, diabetes, they will f they will perish in the sea in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus name, amen. amen. Also, also means that um it um light is is light is now and um your your faith will rise in Jesus' name. Amen. So our next one is First John two verse eight to eleven. First John two Okay it's on there. You read it. Again a new commandment I write unto you which think is true in him and in you, because the darkness is past and the true light now shineth. So I pray that the darkness will that be you're, passing away from you. Yeah, the dark that, they, that they that any darkness that wants to stay around you, among you that they will, they will run away. Satan will be scared of you in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, and he won't afflict you in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. He that saith he is in the light and hateth his brother is in darkness even until now. So if, if you hate your brother, you're not in you're not in the light. You're in the darkness. And if you say you you you're in the light, but you hate your brother. The Bible is saying that you're not in the light because you hate your brother. Well, if you, oh, it's, uh, listen to this next verse. Um, he that loveth his brother, his brother abideth in the light, and there is no occasion of stumbling in him. So if you if you love your brother, you'll not stumble. Um, it also it also means that um, that um, it also says that that you should love your brother 
and you will abide in the Lord. If you love your brother, like there was, it says that there is no cause for you to stumble. And I pray that there will not even be any cause for you to stumble in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And also, also so if you love your brother, you will have a good life. Nothing bad will happen. Amen. And it also, also it means that darkness is passing away. It won't come back to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Every pain, sickness, and and diabetes will flee now in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. amen. Those, uh, I read verse eleven. But he he that hated his brother is in darkness and walketh in darkness knoweth not whither he goeth because the darkness hath blinded his eyes. So and I pray that you if you, you if you're in darkness and you don't know it and you're blind that you 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 will come out of that darkness and your eyes will be whole in Jesus. And you'll turn amen. your face to Jesus and and obey him in Jesus' name. Amen. So. Our next scripture is it's First, First Corinthians, Corinthians 4, 4, 4, 4, 5. I'm reading. It says, Therefore do not pronounce judgment before the time, before the Lord comes. He will bring to the light the things now hidden in darkness, and will disclose the purpose of the heart. Then each one of you will receive his commendation, commendation from God. So it says that God will bring out the hidden things. The light will bring out the hidden things. Amen. And and then it says each one will receive his com condemnation from God. Also, it means that the Lord, he is coming and you should get ready for him. Because you need to be prepared of the Lord. You shouldn't be scared of him because he's the one who makes the light in the world and Jesus. So our next scripture is Isaiah 60 verse 19 to 20. Isaiah 60 verse 19. So it says, it says, the sun shall be no more thy light by day, neither nor brightness shall the moon give light unto thee, but the Lord be unto thee an everlasting light, and, and thy God thy glory. So I pray that that this the God, that God the Lord will be, will be your light, light in, in Jesus, Jesus' name. Uh, um, the sun shall no more go down, neither shall thy moon withdraw itself. The Lord shall be thine everlasting light, and the days of thy mourning shall be ended. I pray so you no longer be crying for no reason in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Your mourning days shall days shall be ended now in Jesus' name. Amen. So it also also means that you should allow God to use you as His light. And it also says that you won't need the lights like the sun or the moon to be your light because God is your light. So our next scripture. Um, it's Genesis Revelation 22, 22 verse 5. And that's our last scripture for today. And we're going to do some prayers. I'm going to read it. Yeah. Revelation 22 verse 5 says, And night will be no more. There will need no light or of lamp or sun, for the Lord will, your God will be their light, and you they will reign forever and ever. So it's saying that you won't need the night anymore, that you'll need no light or lamp to light up the house or anything because God is your light. Just and it also says in and it also means in heaven God is the light there. Get ready. So it also means that um in heaven God is the light there and you should get ready to see the light. And I pray that ev that the light that the light they the light it will shine bright in Jesus' name. You will not be in darkness again in Jesus' name. So now we're gonna pray for sick people. Yeah, sick people. We will pray for sick people. That any people who are sick now watching us, that as they watch us, they will be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. They will no longer be sick in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All their pains and their fears will be gone in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And as as you as we finish watching this program, that there will be no more pain in you, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We so, all pray for the people who are homeless, that they will get their house now, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. That they will no longer be homeless, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. That they will have enough money to pay their house rents, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. 
And now we're gonna we play, play for the jobless, the people jobless who don't people. have work. That they will receive their works now in Jesus' name. Amen. If they if they if they get their work and it doesn't rec it doesn't receive to them, they'll get their works now in Jesus' name. Amen. Satan won't make your works go away from you in Jesus' name. Yeah, Satan can do nothing to you in Jesus' yeah, name. Yeah, he's scared of you in Jesus' name. Amen. Now we pray for barren people. And before we go, that do you know the story of Hannah and Samuel? That Hannah was barren; she couldn't get a child. And then she prayed to the Lord and saying that if I if once if you help me get this child, I'll dedicate it to your house. So he will be doing the work of God. So we now we pray for the barren that they will receive their children now in Jesus. They name won't be name. lonely in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Their 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 children they'll be working for the Lord, not for Satan in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Satan and, will be and, cast in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. And 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 everyone will be working for God in Jesus name amen. amen they won't work for Satan because all he does is make things bad he yeah. wants to make the whole he wants he wants to make things go wrong that he will make nothing go wrong in Jesus name amen, amen. you won't follow him in Jesus name amen, amen. So, so now we're going to we're going to do some prayers that another prayers yeah. so people who don't have a car that they will receive their car now in Jesus' name, amen. amen. And that car will not crash in Jesus' name, amen. amen. Your houses will not be burnt in Jesus' name, amen. amen. You will be blessed in Jesus' name, amen. amen. That if, and I pray that if you don't have a good connection with God, then that now, after this program, you'll have the best connection with God in Jesus' name, amen. amen. That people that your faith will be restored with God in Jesus name amen. amen that people who are in hospital that they will come out of hospital now in Jesus name without amen. any sickness and pain and there there will be no more sickness or pain in Jesus name amen, amen. that they now if they if they're sick and they are going to hospital now they will turn back and come back and they'll receive their healing now in Jesus name amen, amen. that so now we pray for that people who are in that who are not in the light that they'll get in the light now, mm -hmm. and they will turn their lives to Jesus now in Jesus name. Mm -hmm. God will bring you out of darkness in Jesus name. That once you once your sickness are gone, you'll praise the Lord in Jesus name. Mm -hmm. Death will flee from you now in Jesus mm -hmm. name. The Lord will protect you in Jesus name. Mm -hmm. The Lord will guide you in Jesus name. Mm -hmm. you, your children will read the Bible and will understand and turn their lives to Jesus now in Jesus' name. Amen. Your pain will flee now and go and perish in the Red Sea in Jesus' name. Amen. You will have peace in Jesus' name. Amen. You, Your home will have peace in Jesus' name. Amen. Your debts will be paid in Jesus' name. You will not be cursed in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. So now, um, you, Jesus Christ is the Lord of all. And now you... You can repeat after me, Lord, the prayer of salvation. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I make you my Lord and Savior from now. I make you my Lord and Savior from now. In Jesus' name, I In pray. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. So now you can su you can support us. The the details are on the screen. You type, you can watch us on YouTube. You type Tremaisia Conqueror. You t find us on Facebook. You type Clan Global Church. And you can call us for prayers on zero seven four two three one five zero zero seven four. And instead of debt, go increase, increase and multiply and expand us in, in, in numbers. In Yeshua's name, we pray. Amen. Amen. And, and together, together we say Shalom in, in the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Amen.